Hey, 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 it's Leona. How you doing? Woo! Happy Wednesday. I hope you're well and good. I hope everything is groovy with you. Hello, Celeste and Craig. How you doing? Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining me on the countdown. Oh, we had a countdown this time. How exciting. Happy Wednesday. Yes, 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 yes. So uh, today um we are going to be doing some fabric painting which is super super exciting we're early you are early it's amazing though well, you're actually on time or well, you were actually early because you went with countdowns so it's all good it's all good it's all good let's get creative <laughs> it's funny isn't it i always say those little things i always say happy wednesday and i always say hey 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 i can't help it really i can't help it so uh yeah Oh wow, look at the visuals. Okay, so this is my own artwork that I put in the background. I made it on a stream on Facebook over the weekend. So if you want to catch me on Facebook, you can uh, on the weekend. Come say hi, that'd be amazing. Um, it gets better with every stream. Thank you so much, Craig. I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best to make it better and better and better. So make sure you tune in if you're watching this on the replay. Thank you very much. It's lovely to see you. If you could subscribe for me, if you could like and also leave me a comment, that would be absolutely amazing. And try and come in next time on the live stream, 7 p.m. UK time in the description. It says all the time zones for America. So let's come and like have some like chilled, relaxing, fun, love times this stream is all about love with everything that's happening in the world everyone needs some love and we've got a love theme happening for our fabric painting so uh usually what happens for the first 10 minutes or so i'll run through the project with you what the project is about how it's going to work all the materials you're going to need and then i begin the project all right so that's how it goes um yeah we're doing a fabric painting project so I'm going to be fabric painting onto a shopping bag. And this is the design that we're going to do. Oh, how cool is that? Look, oh, the yellow's gone into the background. Oh, my God, that's so cool. Look at that. <gasps> da, da, da. This is Leona. Hey, hey, hey. Happy Wednesday. How you doing? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So this is the design. I did this uh, a couple of weeks ago, actually. This is the design. As you can see, it's all based on hearts. So we've got like kind of this sort of progression in heart shapes. And this is actually from a Greek design that I've simplified. Uh, so I'm gonna to talk to you a, bit, a little bit about that in a minute. But what I do wanna say first of all is that you don't have to, if you're following along at home with this, you don't have to have fabric paints and you don't have to have a bag right you can do this on paper you can do it on card with any paints you could even do this as a glass painting project um there's so many uh, like adaptations you can do with this so don't feel limited if you haven't got a bag uh if you've got fabric paints and you've got a bag or you've got a t-shirt or you've got a cushion cover then you can do exactly what i'm doing but if you haven't and you've just got any other paints you can use it on any surface you want with this same design all right uh, I was about to say, what kind of magic are you using? <laughs> I'm using all the magic, all the magic today. Um, so yeah, so we're doing this uh, really, really beautiful heart design and I'm going to show you what it's inspired by. Uh, if you're in the comments, let me know how you are and how your day is going and everything like that. Um, I just love how <laughs> this is going to be constantly blocked out. This is actually yellow but you can't quite see it, it's so funny. That's so interesting. Anyway, and even the little stripes, they're actually green, so they're going like into my background, which is funny. Mira, how you doing? Welcome, welcome, happy Wednesday, how are you? I hope you're well and good. Uh, yeah, we're doing fabric painting today. Oh, Cynthia, I'm gonna have to keep going back. Hi, Cynthia, how you doing? Happy Wednesday, how are you? I hope you're well and good um love the backdrop thank you so much it is one of my own designs as you've seen as you have seen 
Uh, so yeah, so we're going to be doing this fabric painting design, but as I said, you don't have to do it on fabric, you can do it on paper, card, you can use acrylics, whatever paint you've got. You can even draw it if you want to. And it comes from this design. So I bought this book a few weeks ago. It's also green, so you're going to see the like backdrop coming through. <laughs> but uh this is called the grammar of ornament and i'm absolutely obsessed with it i've been drawing like every day from it and i've only got like to about page six or something because i'm obsessed uh but this can you see this design that we're doing here this comes from this picture here can you see that so that's the inspiration can you see there's four different designs and they kind of evolve into kind of hearts and they sort of look very plant-like, so it's very nature-based, which I always love. Because um, art and nature kind of go hand in hand, don't they? But how beautiful is this? You can see there's some added little features there, so you could add that if you want to. But I want to keep it like really, really simple today. All right, so that's the inspiration for a little bit of background. Here's the design we're going to be doing. Obviously, you can do it in whatever colours you like. I don't really mind. It's up to you. And what you're going to need, first of all, what you're going to need, first of all, is a bag. So you're going to need the tote bag or um, a shopping bag, a canvas, cotton's really good. And you're also going to need like something like hard, like a hard cardboard to put inside it. And I don't know if you can guess in the comments why you need this but it's fairly self-explanatory and that is you don't want the paint to be bleeding through onto uh, the other side of the bag. You need some kind of surface, right, underneath. Okay, so you need something to protect it. So if you're doing it on a cushion cover or you're doing a t-shirt, the same rules apply. If you don't wanna do fabric painting, just grab some paper, grab some paper or some card ideally, something that's a bit thicker than normal paper and that can be your surface, all right? Okay, so next thing you're gonna need is you are gonna need uh, a pencil. You are 100% gonna need a pencil. You're gonna need an eraser. You definitely need an eraser and you need a good quality one for this. You're gonna need a sharpener and I've got my little crab sharpener. Woo, da 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 da. da. Uh, you're going to need some scissors and you're going to need some sellotape. All right, I'm just going to go to the other camera so you can see all that down there. Let me know how your day's been in the comments. Let me know how you are. Um, you're also going to need some card. So this, we're going to make templates today. We're going to make templates today. I love templates. We'll do stencils and other things another time. But we're going to do templates today. Oh, yes, we are. Because I do love a template. And it's such a good, easy, beginner thing to do. So we're going to do templates. That's what's happening. So you're going to need an A5 piece of card. I've just got an A4. And I'm just going to quickly cut it now. Uh, Celeste, what are you doing putting the alphabet in the comments? What is happening right here? Uh, stay alert with R and the coronavirus. Yeah. Stay in love. That's what you want to do right now. Stay in love. That's why we're doing a heart-based design. My well, day's been good, and you? Yeah, mine's been good too. Thank you. Uh, so you need some A5 card, so you can just cut an A4 in half. All right, I'm just going to put that over there. You don't need that. Uh, you're also going to need something to mix your paints on, and as you know, I always have like just a paper plate or something to mix them on because all my palettes like they've all they've all got they're all covered in paint and as i'm doing this stream for you i want everything to be nice and clean so that's why every time i use a paper plate and it's easiest to dispose of, actually i say super clean but look there's some paint on it <laughs> so you know i mean can anything really be super clean with art not quite almost almost there's, there's always a little bit of paint on it right paint somewhere uh, you're going to need some tissues. If you don't have tissues, you can just use a cloth. Um, you're going to need a ruler. But really, all you need is something long and straight. So we're not going to use it for measurements. We're just going to use it to make sure that our design is nice and level. Okay, and that everything like looks really good. So we're going to need a ruler. 
Uh, you're obviously going to need your paints. As I said, I've got fabric paints. I always recommend you do red, yellow, and blue. They have the primary colours. Oh, see, this yellow's fine. I want. Oh no, it's not. Look, interesting that the yellow is going into the green screen a little bit. The life of an artist is never quite clean. <laughs> never quite. <laughs> But I wouldn't want it, want it any other way, right? I love it when I've got, like, you know, paint on my jeans and all that stuff. Uh, so, yeah, have some primary colours and some white. You don't really need black for this. Um, and you're going to need some paintbrushes. I've got some paintbrushes here in a little tub for some reason. I think that's because when I was doing it the other day and I was doing some painting the other day. Um, and you're going to need some water. And I've got mine in a jar so it's like safe because obviously I've got six lights two cameras loads of wires and I don't want any water to spill anywhere <laughs> oh my god no please don't do that I don't want to see any water anywhere all right so that's everything you're gonna need so I hope you got your bits if you're following along with me uh come keep me company come and chit chat with me and uh, let's do this. This one today is going to be more nearer a two hour mark rather than a 90 minute one. Um, but they'll never be longer than two hours unless I just talk too much. And in which case you can say, Leona, can you actually get on with it, please? <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do. So if you're doing it on a fabric, if you're doing it on a bag like me, make sure you've got your card inside and let's get to it so if you've got card inside i've got because this is like a classic tote bag size i've got an a3 piece of card inside so you want to make sure it's kind of in the middle that's what you want to make sure right make sure it's kind of in the middle and you're going to get your piece of card here and what we're going to do is we're going to create four templates right so what I want to do... Oh, actually, you do need the other one. What am I saying? You do need the other one. Uh, oh, he's not here right now. He's not here. He's not here, lovely. He's not here. Um, so what we want to do is we want to create one, two, three, four, right? So we, what we're going to do is we're going to cut and we need two smaller ones. So you do need A4, actually. Sorry, I said you need A5, but you don't. You need A4. You need both of these because what you're going to do is you are going to cut, you're going to hold them together and you're going to cut across because we need two big shapes and two little shapes, all right? So what you can do, actually you could use a ruler if you want, anywhere you like, we're just going to have one big one, one small one, I want you to just put a line somewhere like that okay it doesn't have to be completely straight you don't need a ruler for that really you can just sketch it we're gonna cut along that and we're gonna hold these two together so we get four bits right so we get four bits so we should have two bits like this there we go so we needed a we needed it to be a4 we needed a4 i said a5 we needed a4 right so we got two big and two small. And then what I want you to do is just kind of double check that they fit. Now what might happen is that one's gonna overlap slightly, yeah. So you wanna just like, just trim them off a little bit, okay? Just make them a tiny bit smaller. Again, you could just kind of like cut. You could, I mean, sorry, you could draw with a ruler and then draw with a pencil and then <laughs> and then cut it if you want to but I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna put that to the side so I've got two little bits smaller you want them to be the same size so you want to keep grabbing those together and then like trimming them up a bit and then you want to like line them all up because they're gonna go in a in a line right one two three four so we've got to make sure they all fit yay there you go I'll tell you what I'm gonna trim mine one more time just a tiny bit more and then we'd be ready to go to make our shapes. Just a little bit more. Just a little extra trim. All right? So you've got one, two, three, four. And then you can just see, like, you know, how much space you've got. If you can get two or three in. Do you know what I mean? What I think I'm going to do today, 
Uh, look at the second previous comment. Uh, can you bring your boyfriend? Yeah, no, I, was, I said that. I already answered you, my love. Um, you said fancy the emojis. I didn't see any emojis. No emojis came up. Um, so I'm going to do mine twice. So you see with my example, I did it three times. So I did them a bit smaller. With this one, I'm going to do the, do two. All right? But you can make yours a little bit smaller and do more if you want to. It depends how many rows you want. And have you noticed that these look like tulips a little bit? I think they look a bit tulip-like. I think they've got a little bit of a tulip vibe. So what we're going to do is we are now going to get our four bits that we've cut and we are going to fold them in half so you're going to fold them in half long ways right folding them in half long ways every single one folding in half folding in half and then you're going to fold the two smaller ones in half and actually i'll tell you what let's open them back up so we can just check because we're actually going to change the order because what we want is we want the first one and the last one to be the widest now this isn't really a hard and fast rule like really this is your design and it's up to you it's just i personally really like that third uh, the fourth one it's actually i'll tell you what like if you look in the design right if you look at the design you can see that it's actually the first two are small and then the last two are wider can you see that so we could do it exactly like that it's just that i really like the first one i think it's like really really lovely so i'm gonna do the first and the fourth one really big what was your answer sorry oh he's not here right now but he'll be here in a bit um yeah so i'm gonna do the first one big and the last one celeste are you following along are you gonna do it today so first and fourth really big and the middle two a bit smaller all right so once you've decided that and it's really like i said it's up to you you could have the first two bigger or whatever but let's just stick with this for now because there's always like with any kind of creative thing there's always so many options isn't there and I want to keep it nice and simple. So if you follow along with what I've done, I think that looks the nicest. But if you've got a better idea, do your better idea, right? Because I don't want to stop any of your creativity. I want it to flow. So you do what you feel is right and what you're called to do. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to fold these back in half. And we're going to make sure that the crease on each one is on the right hand side okay so can you see and it doesn't matter if you don't do it perfectly see how that fold isn't perfect i mean let's not worry about it um can you do it then please no on the replay i don't know what you mean celeste i don't know what you mean my love Celeste has uh, been putting emojis up on the comments and you can't see them because you're on a bit Oh, I said trouble. that. Yeah, I said I can't see the emojis. Because you can't see them. So yeah. Just, uh, let me come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I can't. Yeah, no, I but. Like yeah, I can't see them. What I get. Interesting. They're beautiful, Celeste. <laughs> He's back and he said they're beautiful. All right. Uh, yeah, I can see like normal smiley faces and laughing faces, but any kind of other ones I can't see. All right so it just comes up as words all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do these four designs right so we're gonna do this kind of like now you want you want to do is you want to look like it's just so funny this is like gone on the backdrop and there's kind of nothing i can do about it now but interestingly it did it on the yellow uh but you want to look at this kind of shape it's a bit like a chevron isn't it or like a v shape so what you want to do is you want to create half of it. So we're going to draw half of it and then cut it out and then we're going to get the whole thing, right? So let me show you what I mean. So as large as you can on this piece, so we're going to try and fit it from top to bottom if we can. 
I want you to do maybe you could go right to the edge I'm just gonna go a little bit in a little bit a little bit in a little bit <laughs> and I am gonna draw a line going down like this and now I'm doing mine super super thick and heavy so you guys can see it really clearly um, obviously you don't want to press like you don't have to press so hard right uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take a kind of a curve going down and we want to try and get like near the end, not quite near the end. We're going to do this. So we've got this nice big kind of like swooping curve going down, right? Like that swooping curve, swooping curve. And then we're just going to follow it along on the other side, right? So we're just going to follow it. We're going to echo that shape. And we're just gonna go down so we got this V so as you can see these ones are a little bit bigger than what I did on my example because like I said I only want to do like two rows for this one so if you want to make them smaller and do multiple rows you can do make them smaller and do multiple rows right so you should have you want to make those two kind of curves really nice and parallel right and you want to make sure that this the crease is on the right hand side and then what we're going to do is we're going to cut this out and when you open it up you're going to get that v kind of shape chevron right so we're actually going to just cut it out right now before i go on to the next shape just because i want to show you that all right i want to show you how it works so grab your scissors and i want you to just really nice and carefully cut all the way around like this and you're going all the way around and we're going to get a nice big point at the end. And you should end up with something like that, which is super gorgeous, right? A really nice V shape. And then you can just put your bits over to the sides, all right? Okay, so next thing's next. We're going to do our smaller piece. And we're going to do the next pattern, which is this one here, right? So can you see they kind of, it gets kind of, it starts quite angular and it gets more and more curvaceous as we go from left to right, which is so beautiful. I love it so much. <laughs> I think this design is so, 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 so pretty. All right, so with this one, what you wanna do is you wanna just keep it, you wanna keep it like a real leaf shape. So think real leaf shape, two nice curves going around like that okay and let's just go for it let's just go for it and see what happens so again i'm going to just start a little way in just a tiny bit in and i'm gonna go as far down to the bottom as i can and i'm gonna kind of do this leaf shape but instead of taking it right to the point i'm gonna stop a little way up right because this is where it kind of starts transforming into hearts right how gorgeous is that easy hey easy peasy how you finding it oh celeste i can see those ones uh i'm just tuned in for a bit hey mira nice to see you work and hear your voice relax me after a busy day of juggling oh thank you for tuning in mira it's lovely to see you and have you here um i mean i just think we need art more than ever right now like i feel like i keep going back to it over and over again because like it just makes me feel so good art oh, makes you feel good miko tamiko's in the house everybody please wish tamiko a happy birthday yay happy birthday tamiko all the kisses for you darling start over leona <laughs> i can't start over <laughs> <laughs> we're fabric painting today my love but you can paint onto anything you like we're painting onto a bag a shopping bag a reusable shopping bag with fabric paint but you can do whatever you like and i'm sure you will <laughs> all right we're making some templates so let's go ahead and cut this one out and let's see what it's gonna look like Cat, hi, just here for a little while. Love the background. Thank you, Cat. How are you, darling? You're right. Nice to see you. Sending you all the love. We're doing a love based 
stream today it's a love theme we're gonna stay on the love tip today and that's that right that's that that's what's happening thank you so much for your compliment uh, so let's get this one cut out so we should have this kind of nice this is a real kind of tulipy type shape right so we got two happening I'm really pleased with them so far looking nice thank you so much oh it's my pleasure thank you for coming here on your birthday that's so lovely yay isn't it amazing i know so many people that have had lockdown birthdays and they all have said that it's been so lovely because everyone that they've gone to see online or they've met online or they arranged like things to do on all the different platforms and they've had so much fun so i hope you're having a fun time my love um yeah all right so third one which is going to be this small one and what i'm going to have to just make sure is if you do kind of fold it and it doesn't go aligned you're going to just have to make sure that you keep within that so what you might want to do is just trim it off a little bit just for ease so you don't think oh no like how am i going to do this oh there's that bit hanging off just trim it up all right make yourself feel better trim it off trim it up be happy life's good right so with this one we're gonna get a little bit more kind of curvy again we're gonna do something similar to this one but we're gonna kind of curve it off so this one again is coming into being a bit more like a heart miko i have to show you where what this design is inspired from this is uh, inspired from like greek i think it's pottery but I'm not quite sure because it's pulled from all different kinds of things like textiles and mosaics and loads of stuff. But this is the design we're doing. I've just simplified it. Just cut out the lines and cut out the dots. But we're doing this. And it's got it like hearts, like flower hearts. So that's what's happening today. Okay, so let's do this one. So this one, like I said, is a bit more curvy. So I'm going to get... I'm going to start off here and I'm going to I'm going to start off in a little bit and I'm going to try and get as much kind of curve as I can and then I'm going to and I'm can you see in me in the little picture at the bottom left there I'm kind of curving my body a bit because it helps me to kind of like get the curve here so I'm like I always find if you put your body into it you kind of feel better do you know what I mean? Like, it's just something about me and art. I always feel like when you do big things, you don't confine yourself to small, tiny things. The bigger you do them, the better you feel and you can kind of put your whole body into it, which is, makes it really energizing and fun. So try and remember, th oh, oh, it's a top tip. It's a top tip. It's a top tip, everybody. Put your body into it. <laughs> a top tip put your body into it what's the book title oh, i'm getting there sorry i am getting there i just had to finish my kind of sentence with what i was saying and i got all excited that i've got a little animation that says top tip <laughs> i'm getting there i'm getting there okay there's so many buttons to press cat and miko and there's all the things so i'm getting there i'm getting to your comment okay the book is called and it's going to be in the green screen in my artwork uh, the Grammar of Ornaments by Owen Jones. As you can see, it's second hand. Well, I don't know if you can see. It's all a bit creased. I got it second hand. I think the actual, if you get it new, it's very expensive. But this is rocking my world. I've got a couple of other books like this. But this one, for some reason, is making me, like, proper excited. Like, the other ones I've had for quite a while. Um, and I'll show you the other ones, actually. If you come on to my Facebook um where's my social things there you go if you come to my facebook on the weekend um i'll show you the other books oh my god this is amazing i've already actually influenced someone else to buy this book i mean it's so good oh my god look anything that's green it's like look <gasps> inception it's like a 3d book anyway that's a little thing all right let's get back to the project back to the project i've got to keep it open so i know so i can show you again later if you need to 
Uh, right, yes, we're all on the page, we're all on the thing. Happy days. All right, so we've got our kind of curve and we've got our body, we put our body into it. And then on this side, we're kind of trying to make it more rounded again. And I tell you what, we're not going to come down as far as that with this one. This one's not as far down as this, right? So we're going to come down to about here, right? So you, can you see we're not going low? We're going to not go quite as low with this one. The green screen thing is so funny. I'm trying to explain it to the kids. Oh, hi, Ava and um, Hector. How you doing? Hi, hi, hi. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like we just want to make we just want to make every single stream more and more and more fun and interesting for you guys so it will be every week there will be something a little bit different and a little bit more exciting so tune in and please share oh my god if you're watching this and you're commenting thank you so much please share it with someone you think might really enjoy it um anyone write it down i'm going to show you again here we go I'm going to hold it now so you can see. I'll give you a couple of seconds so you can check it out. Do, do, do. do. There you go. Owen Jones, the grammar of ornament. There you go. Thank you, Kat. Very lovely. Thank you so much. All right, let's cut this third template out. And then we're going to do the final one and then we can get sketching it on and we can get to painting. Right? Because that's, oh, that's where the like calm vibes happen. Thank you. That's my palette. Oh, it's the least I can do on your birthday, my love. You screenshot it. Amazing. Amazing. All right. So we've got one, two, three. How cute is that? And then the fourth one, which is my wide one, I'm going to do, it's, mu it's really like a heart shape, this final one. You see, these two are quite similar. This one's very different. And then the final one is basically like a heart shape, but you're going to take it super low. So you want to take it really low and try and get a nice round heart shape. Oh, well, actually, and I want to try and get it as high as I possibly can as well. Yeah, that's going to work. So try and get a nice round heart. And we're going to go down, 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 down. And then, yeah, I'm trying to get like the full length. Well, I haven't got quite the full length, but nearly the full length. Nearly. And you can always trim these up, you know, if you make a mistake, don't worry. You can always trim them up. All right. And then we're going to cut this out nicely done nicely nicely done get all my little bits or you can see my little pile of bits there in the corner along with all the wires <laughs> and yeah let's try and i might even try and bring this out a little bit wider if i can let's have a look let's have a look let's see let's see Oh, oh, I really like that. So you can turn them over if you don't want to look at the pencil mark and then that can kind of really help you to see the shapes. And you see here, I don't know, I just want to like trim those off a little bit. I just think I could can have a bit of a nicer curve there. That's it. So trim any bits off that you want to. And then, yeah. How gorge is that? I don't know what to see, so I'm saying, uh, you know what to say, so I'm saying, Moo, hey, 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 happy Wednesday, how are you? <laughs> what about, have you been making any art this week? Have you been going back to any of the replays and having a look and getting some art done? Okay, so now I really love it. Thank you, Tamiko, you sweetheart. So now we're going to do the arranging side, right? So you've got your templates done. It's time to arrange everything and draw everything on and get prepared to paint, right? Now, as I said, if you're using, if you do really big templates like I have, you might only want to do two rows. If you've done smaller templates, you can do more rows. It's obviously, it's up to you. I'm going to do two rows and I'm going to keep them quite close together in the center 
but yeah it's just up to you all right so i'm gonna take these down a little bit and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get my ruler and i am gonna make a line and i'm gonna make a line so i know that they've all got to touch that line right that's what's happening so uh you don't want to press too hard but again i've got to press hard haven't i i've got to press hard so you can see the line that i am creating there all right and you can always rub out this is where you need a really good quality eraser for this project because if you do uh if you had done have a good quality eraser it's really really hard to rub out just saying okay oh jean how you doing love it leona looking amazing how you doing jean jean's on her conscious soundscapes oh that's amazing well done sweetie well done um i oh, wait a minute is that jean or is that zach oh now i'm confused which one is which is it cons oh it's all the consciousness i thought it was jean is zach <laughs> zach <laughs> Love it, Leola, looking amazing. <laughs> it's all got the word conscious in it. Look how lovely we all are. We've got the conscious, we're all conscious, we're creative beings, we're being in our love bubble. What more can you do, right? What more can you do? Um, say happy birthday to um, Miko, for sure. Say happy birthday, it's her birthday today. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna line these four up as kind of equally and as nicely spaced as we can possibly get them and then we're just going to go around them right we're just going to go around let's draw around the templates because that's what templates are for uh, you could use a little bit of masking tape if you wanted to if you wanted to like stick it down make sure it wasn't going to move um, a bit of a note on fabric uh, you might want to wash the item before you apply paint to it when you're using fabric paints and obviously you can wash uh you can wash your bag if you use fabric paints if you use the correct paint for your fabric you can uh wash it you've got to iron onto the design onto uh i'll tell you more about that later but basically you've got to put tea towel down iron on um, a high setting for about three minutes take the tea towel away and then you can wash it <gasps> how cool is that obviously on a low setting all right next one next one try and get equal spacing happening here beautiful oh it's gonna be so gorgeous do, 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 do. and then the final one We're gonna, I really love this one so much. I mean, maybe with this one, because I'm only doing two rows, I could add some of the details. Ooh, maybe I could. My birthday is June the 25th. Is that a Wednesday? Wouldn't that be cool if that was a Wednesday? Uh, so yeah, so you've got all four sketched out, and then all you wanna do is do the same thing underneath, right? Because you're kind of creating, you're creating as if they're like flowers going down so you want to like yeah you just want to make sure that they're kind of going underneath so lay out your make sure you get the right one because those two are so similar lay them underneath and you want these ones to like touch the line so touch you see the top of the templates oh it's a thursday oh well you just have to come the day before and we'll wish you happy birthday mm -hmm. And it'll be fabulous, right? Um, yeah, so hold. I've got my fan on. This is my fan's blowing the templates away. All right, so put it underneath. Let the top points of your template touch the line. Then you're going to get your ruler again or whatever straight edge you've got. It really doesn't matter. And then I'm going to have to move my microphone out of the way a little bit there. And then you're going to find the end. You're going to try and get this as straight as possible. And you're going to do a nice line underneath which is going to make sure that you keep all your beautiful shapes straight right okay it's a date let it be all right all right so let's draw these out again all right so keeping it nice and aligned you've got to try and keep them 
going parallel down, right? Because that is the important thing with this design. They've got to be parallel. It looks so nice, right? The way that they're all going down, down, down like that. So gorgeous, okay? So try and get it. If you need to do another rule line, do that. I'm not going to do another one because that just means more erasing. But if you need to, you can. All right, so we're gonna go around, around. Number one, and I'm not gonna use these templates again, so I'm gonna get that out of the way. We're gonna do the next one, and always looking around, right? Look around that your spacing's correct, that it's the same as the other one, that the center of your point in the middle is where the center point is there. And we're just going to keep going round. And I'm going to keep going round here, all the way round. Okay. Then the third one. Look for that line going down the center. Keep the tips, the top of the tips on the top of the line. We're going to do that. I mean, that is another top tip, actually. Guys, top tip in the house. Top tip in the house. Make sure the top tips of your template touch the line. It's a top tip. It's coming right at you. I told you this dream is elevating every time. It's a top tip. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying that, guys. I hope you're enjoying them. All right. Number three, and then finally, number four. So again, making sure that is nice and aligned. The tops of the design are touching the top line. And you're gonna take it round. Take it round. Take it round. Okay, stop. Why? 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 Do, 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 do. So you should have something like that. So again, if you're doing more, love the top tips. Thank you, cat. Thank you. It's a little thing, but it's cute, right? It's a cute little thing. Top tips. Top tips. You know, when I did a test for this stream, I had a green top on and I was invisible here and I just thought shall I come on like that because it could be really fun but then I was like actually maybe not because maybe it'd be just a bit distracting because I'm trying to do a bit of an art tutorial maybe in future episodes we can just have fun stuff and we can do loads of fun things and not miss although this is obviously fun obviously but you know what I mean fun stuff that's not a tutorial you know what I mean so stay tuned for more of that Make sure you subscribe for more of that. Hit me a like for more of that. <laughs> so you should have, so let's tell me how you are, what's happening. Um, so you should have like a couple of rows or you might be still working on doing another row and that's fine. Don't panic, just keep going. Yeah, Leona's floating heads. Conscious thank you for sharing love on the IG. Oh. Oh, did you, did you share this on IG? Thank you so much, Tamiko. Thank you, sweetheart. I really appreciate that. Always appreciate the shares. Um, and then what we want to do is we want to create the lines going down, right? So we've got our beautiful, beautiful kind of tulip heart shapes. And they're all going down and they've got stems. So I've added a stem. So you want to come now and draw your stems in between to kind of join them all up. So if you've got another row, you're just going to join everything up. All right. And again, you want to press lightly. You want to press lightly um, because you don't want the paint. You don't want the pencil showing through. Um, but I'm pressing super hard so you can see. I know I say that all the time, but it's a good reminder. 
you know, especially if you come into the project a bit late or you're not sure, or you missed what I said. It's always good to say things a couple of times. All right. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna erase uh, some of my guidelines here. All right, now this, like I said, is gonna be a bit tough for me because I pressed so hard. All right, but this is your opportunity to be erasing your lines. And I'm not gonna worry too much. I'm just gonna give it a little raise. A little erase, a little erase here and a little erase there. And a little erase around here. Thanks, you're joking. Oh, you're joking when you're telling me to stop. <gasps> Don't joke about that, because I'll just be like, what, you, what do you mean, what do you mean? And then I'll feel like I have to stop. <laughs> All right, so let's get this erased. Erased, erased, erased. So if you want to see uh, me when I'm doing the designs for these projects, come and hang out with me on Facebook. The link is up there in the top corner. Um, I do do some Instagram lives as well. Um, I was doing quite a lot of Instagram lives, but now I'm doing Facebook ones. So if you wanna just like pop in and um, watch me designing, it's not so tutorial based, it's more me just chatting. Just chatting, seeing how everyone is. And uh, doing some art, right? I'm going in the shower. Bye, bye. See you in a bit. Uh, all right. Let's get painting. Let's get painting. Let's get painting. Now, with mine, I have done yellow, which I'm still not sure why it's reading as green. But maybe it's a yellowy greeny yellow a kind of peachy orange a kind of salmony pink and a really nice bluey purple right you can obviously do whatever you like really doesn't matter whatever colors you love you can choose and do that um in the actual artwork oh if I use Frixon pens, all you have to do is iron them. The lines will disappear. <gasps> That's amazing because you have to um, you have to iron fabric paint to fix it to the bag. So that means that if you use one of those pens, I haven't heard of that. I don't know what, but I do know what Frixon pen as you told me, but I haven't heard of that. Uh, I'll have to see if that's available in the UK actually. Thank you, Miko um yeah because then when you iron it i iron the paint to fix it it will delete the pencil lines <gasps> yes that sounds like a plan i love that yummy bluey purple yeah on, on the original one i mean you can see that it's kind of like oranges and yellows which is probably why i'm like just loving this whole page because if you know me you know that orange and yellow is my favorite colors uh uh, friction. Oh, okay, groovy. Yes. <gasps> the kids I teach use them. Oh, that's so good. Oh my God, I'm going to get one of those. After this stream, thank you. I'm going to get one of those. Um, as you can see here, the backgrounds are kind of coloured in. And it's sort of two... Oh, there's a bit of white actually as well. So you could kind of like copy that kind of style if you want. All right, but as I said, I'm here to make everything simple, easy, and all that. So I just want you to choose four colors that you like, okay? Four colors you like, that's it. Simple, simple, simple. They are amazing though, less messy, amazing. Thank you guys, that's so useful and useful for everyone else that's gonna watch on the replay. So thank you both for that. That's amazing, all right. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jig my cardboard just over to the left a little bit because it doesn't fill the whole bag, can you see? So I'm just gonna jig it over so to make sure that it's under here. And you can peg your thing, your bag or your uh, cushion cover or a t-shirt, you can peg it up if you want to make it like really sturdy. I'm not gonna because I've just done this a million times. So I'm fine with it. But if you wanted to peg it up, you can. Let's get painting. 
Let's get some yellow. Let's see if this yellow. <laughs> is it going to read as green? No. There we go. <laughs> so funny. I love it. So brilliant. All right. So I've got loads of yellow. I'm just going to do the yellow that I've got instead of mixing a different yellow. Uh, I'm just going to use the yellow I've got. Right. And I'm going to use a nice big brush. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to use this flat brush. Or maybe... Oh, I haven't got my really big flat brush. That would have been really great, actually. Maybe I'll use this one. All right, and I'm just going to paint it. I'm just going to paint it. Miko is right. Sorry, they are spelt with an X, but pronounced friction. Oh, I may... Thank you. Did you go check? Did you open another window mirror and check? So funny, the green peeping out. I know, right? It's freaking me out, but it's so fun as well. I just think it's so fun. With the kids club that I did last week, it was so funny because I got my green water bottle and one of the kids on the club, they were just freaking out as well because the green water bottle was disappearing. I'll show you in a minute because I actually do need a bit of water. Uh, anyway, let's get painting. Let me give you some top tips about painting. So when you are painting you want to use oh my god look guys we're we're painting with 3d stuff i did oh you did oh amazing <laughs> i thought you did <gasps> look at that look we're painting with this is virtual painting guys this is what's happening it's virtual painting right here. I mean, this project just got elevated. If this isn't worth the share, guys, I don't know what is. The stem, I thought it was multicolored. No, it's green. But I don't know why it's reading the yellow as green, but this is just great fun. Because now I'm virtual painting right here, right now, and I'm going with it. Oh, sorry we missed it. My kids are getting screen averse at the moment. Honestly, it's fine. I completely understand. I completely, completely get it. Don't you worry. You can drop back in. You know you got the things in your mirror. You can drop in whenever you want. All right, so let's just get this on and we want to apply it super thickly. Now this, you know I'm always doing like easy, easy, easy beginners projects. Um, I'm not going to make this any complicated. If you want to have a look at my other fabric painting live stream that I did, which I think was number two and this is number 11. Can you believe? I feel like you're in the matrix. <gasps> It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. Uh, yeah, if you want to see something with details, like I did some flowers. You remember that one, Mira, didn't you? You remember that. Um, yeah, if you want to do something with a bit more detail, you can go check that one out. Uh, this is just going to be really blocky, blocking it in. Uh, yeah. Just get that colour on. <laughs> The chat is flipping out on my end. What do you mean? What do you mean? Right, let's get this yellow going on. I wonder if I mix a bit of white with it, whether it would... Anyway, I'm painting with my own art right here, right now. It's being revealed. Maybe I should just paint all of it green. Maybe I should just paint all of it green for fun. Or check out the fruit. Yeah, you could totally do the fruit on the fabric. Which, I, you know, as I said to you, Mira, I was going to do that. And then I was like, oh, well, look. We're mixing it up. We're mixing it up, right? You know with these lives, you can just do it on whatever surface you want to do. Just make sure you've got the right paint, right? Don't, don't use the wrong paint for the surface if you're doing fabric do use fabric paints don't use acrylic paints because some people just think oh it'll be fine it's not fine it doesn't last it washes out it's not fine so get the right thing for the job right get the right thing for the job 
always. Okay. How fun is that? This is like fifth dimensional type stuff going on right now. It's, we've, it's inception. It's like things of your dreams. Oh no, I've got a little bit on there. Don't get that on there. Oh, now I'm gonna have to make that into the design now. Right? Because that's what happens when you make a mistake. You've got to put it in the design. Like you can't look away, you see. When you're doing your art, you can't look away for even one second because then things are gonna happen. So maybe I should do some little dots around it. Anyway, I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna go on and I'm gonna mix myself some kind of, oh my God, look at that. Some kind of yummy, beautiful uh, orange now. So let's get some red in. Not too much red. Making art by hand, but digitally placing previous handmade art in it. Mind blown, mic drop. <laughs> Jean, how you doing, Jeannie? Hi, happy Wednesday, sweetheart. How are you? Can't be with you for long, been Zooming, no problem. Jean's been teaching today. No worries, thank you for coming in. Why am I getting the blue? I have no idea, I meant to get the yellow. Inception. Uh, lovely to have you. Oh, I've gotta say hello to my mum. Hi, mum. How you doing? My mum will be drawing this. She'll be drawing this one. Uh, yeah, let's get some lovely orange happening here. Some beautiful, beautiful orange. Fabulousness. Again, I'm not gonna spend too much time working out. I, I tell you what, I might just add a little bit of white. Cause I want it to be a little bit of a peachy orange. All right, let, just a little bit, there we go. Just a little bit, just a little something, something. A little bit of something, something for a Wednesday. Oh, you wanna see the paint, right? What am I doing hanging around on there? <laughs> Hi, <Mom. laughs> Do you like the way us English people say mum? Because we say it with a U, don't we? Mum, when well, you say mum. All right, we're going peachy. I want to add a bit more red because that's like too light peachy. I want it more on the orangey peachy. See, I said I wasn't going to mix it and then I end up mixing it because this is what happens when you love painting. Love, love those background flowers. Thank you, Jean. You'll have to check, just because I'm in the middle of painting now, you'll have to check... Um, out near the beginning on the replay I'll show you the book and the design it's actually from a Greek design from like the 1800s you say mama oh my god to me Co you are too adorable <gasps> oh, adorable oh my gosh the adorableness has just gone through the roof. Here we are. Here we are going through the roof. Oh, by the way, everybody, I do have an option now. If anyone wants to donate to the stream, if you want to become a patron, you are very welcome for three pound a month, which is less than a pound a video. Uh, if you want to support me and support this stream to continue if you're enjoying it and you'd love me to do more become a patron patreon.com forward slash artist resource that would be amazing if you can and if you can't just please share and that's amazing thank you so much thank you very much thank you thank you <laughs> <laughs> mummy's good mummy is hilarious yeah i don't think do you know anyone who says mummy when you're older i kind of think you should say stop we're well, not should you don't should have to do anything but you kind of sort of stop saying mummy don't you when you get like older than 10 what do you think i'm not sure when i stop saying it but it sounds a bit odd when you say it older, I think. Although, you know, it's all good. 
Who am I to say? You can say whatever you like. Oh, I am loving this colour though, guys. Are you loving this colour? Like, what colour can you not live without? Tell me what colour you can't live without in your life. Oh, I can't live without orange. So I'm going right close to the edge now. I'm twisting my brush a little bit. So because uh, fabric paint is so thick, and if you're using a fabric paint and it's not thick, you need to be changing your fabric paint. It should be very thick and you should apply lots of paint. And if you kind of twist your brush a little bit when you get to the edges, is this a top tip? I think this is top tip number three. You can kind of twist your brush to kind of like pull down the colour. <laughs> I do hope I'm making you laugh, guys. <laughs> Blue, although I'm a purple girl, can't live without blue. Isn't that the truth, right? There are certain colours you just cannot live without, right? Oh, don't knock me microphone. Don't knock me microphone. Okay. Second one, second one. And make sure you also mix. I don't think this is a top tip, but make sure you do really mix your fabric paints really well because... You don't really want to get like a marbly sort of effect, really. But I think this is a really nice, simple design. I can't wait to get to the green because we're going to continue with Inception. Top tip! Top tip! <laughs> All right, let's get this orange in. Oh yeah. Yeah, but it's funny, there's some colours you can't live without. And when I was painting this backdrop behind me, I just as soon as I put the orange down, I was like, I'm happy. Like yellow for me is always a starting point. And then orange for me just kind of lifts everything and then I sort of just work around that. Although that is completely my preference. Um yeah. And I did that back, the backdrop in a couple of hours. Because um, I find it interesting what you can achieve. As you know, all these streams are like up to two hours. And it's quite amazing what you can achieve in two hours, right? I think two hours is quite a nice time frame. Just generally when you're sitting and you want to give something a go. All right, that's our orange done, guys. Orange done, orange done, orange done. All right, so I'm gonna go for a bit of a pinky now. And as you know, uh, white and red makes pink. I'm gonna actually just move my uh, board inside. So as you can see, I wanna show you what's happening here. As you can see, if you sort of lift it up, you will see Actually, I'll tell you what, I'm going to show you with the one that I did. I'm going to show you with this one because it's easier. If you have a look inside, you can see this is what happens. That's what you're protecting. You need a piece of card because you need to protect the other side of the bag. Otherwise, you would get this happening on the other side of the bag. And you don't want that, right? If you really don't want to kind of mark any kind of cardboard and you want to reuse the cardboard, you can cover that in cellophane or cling film and then you can just discard that. But obviously I don't recommend that because you don't want to put more plastic in the environment. Uh, but that's another thing you can do, right? So I'm just gonna jig. Uh, it's an awesome back, Joel, you're so lovely. Uh, so I'm just now jigging my card because it's not the complete width of the bag I'm just jigging it to the right a little bit see I'm just pushing that over here so that it's going to be underneath these right and now this this is kind of nearly dry 
it's not going to go through onto the other side, right? But if you are not sure, you might just want to wait and have a little break at this point. But we're going to go on and we're going to make a pink. Let's do it. I need to get my water out. It's a top tip. Get me water, clean my brush. So what else are you doing for your birthday, Tomiko? Are you doing the rounds? Are you saying hello to everybody? Let's get rid of that. Let's get some, oh, let's get some white. And nice big pile of white. Use the board so the paint doesn't stain through the fabric. Exactly, exactly, exactly. You don't want it to stain through the plastic that uh, to the fabric. That is just annoying, right? So you see that, that kind of pink I don't like. So a real kind of like baby pink, I don't like. So I'm gonna keep adding red until I get something that I'm happy with. Must run, see you next time. See you later, cat. Thank you for joining. Lachlan, how you doing? Hey, Lachlan, happy Wednesday. How are you? I hope you're good. It's uh, Miko's birthday today. Please say happy birthday to Miko. I only just got in, don't be sorry. You're here now. This all good. We're doing a bit of fabric painting. I'm trying to make a pink that I like because I don't really like a baby pink. We're talking about colours that we can't live without. What colour can you not live without? I'm cleaning. I know, late birthday. I'm actually angry. Cleaning makes the day go by. I tell you what, this is a safe space to come into and just feel a bit chilled, right? Because there is some weird things happening in the world and we just want to remain positive. So that is why I chose to do this kind of love heart type theme today i've been munching my cherries from the allotments well someone's lucky i'm gonna add some more red to this amazing and it's been so hot right that all the things are coming out uh happy birthday yay i'm gonna just hit a load of red on this i want to brighten this whole thing up that is much nicer and can you see i don't know if you noticed that but i actually added a tiny bit of that orange that peachy orange i brought a little bit of that across just to kind of give it another little dimension uh i think i'm happy i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna go ahead that is nice that is really nice i'm liking that it's quite vibrant so this is really easy this is based on a greek pattern uh, simplified I'm kind of obsessed with Greek patterns right now I can't get enough of them so what you been up to today apart from munching cherries it is all happening here by the way check this out and then check this out actually this might be a good time for a water break check it i mean you are the younger generation so this probably doesn't impress you as much you're like yeah yeah i've seen all i've seen green screens before leona leona and zach you can take some cherries from my plot you're so lovely thank you so much that's so sweet of you i love cherries i haven't had cherries for ages you know it's really weird because of the lockdown you're like the lockdown's nearly been three months for us in the uk so it's kind of weird because sometimes you just think when when have i done that oh it was three months ago crazy hey it's crazy times crazy times spread the love where you can that's the message spread the love where you can all right so and I can spread the love through art, so that's what I do. Okay. Let's get this painted. Let's get it done. Um, oh, not for long. Well, yeah, right? Hopefully. 
hopefully um check this out as well get ready for this i've got i need to just give you a top tip first right so my top tip for this is make sure you've got lots of paint on your brush and that you can twist your brush when you get to the edges and guess what that is are you ready it's a top tip It's, this is all happening today in this stream. It's all happening. It's going to get even better than this. You think this is interesting? You better. <laughs> if you think this is interesting, you want to stay tuned every week. You do, and you want to share it with some of your friends. Share it with your creative friends and people that like having a giggle. Because that's what we're trying to do here. Well, we're not trying to do it. That's what we're doing. Right? Uh, and for anyone new here, by the way, my laptop's there. That's why I keep looking over there and speaking to everyone. Um, yeah, I need to get back to it. Let's get back to it. We're nearly done. We're going to get this pink happening. And then again, we're going to go all Inception and put some green on it. So it's all good. You could even like swap to a smaller brush if you want to. Um, this actually reminds me a little bit when I looked at this design it even reminded me of a shopping bag that I actually have so that's how I knew that this design was gonna work right so I was like this is to one similar to the one that actually exists you know Greek patterns are unbelievably beautiful when you really look at them and study them and this is like a heavily 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 simplified one but they are amazing. Let's get this pink in. This pink is looking nice and bright and vibrant. Often with pink, you have to kind of get them separately, um, like buy uh, a separate like magenta -y pink or something to make it like super vibrant if you want it. Because oftentimes you can only get a kind of a baby pink. So let's get this on let's get it on and then we're gonna get ready for the like big green happening it's gonna happen it's gonna happen all right so Make sure you get them edges, guys, all right? You gotta get them edges nice and crisp because with fabric paint, you've it's really interesting. It'd be really good, actually, if you could see, like, super close up on that. Let me see if I can get to the edge here. I don't know if you can see on the edge, but you wanna make it so that it's really crisp on the edge super important if you can all right we're gonna go for the final color which is a purple so uh it's obviously red and blue so let's get a bit of red and blue happening i'm gonna leave that pink it's possible that i'm gonna mix some of the pink in because if you mix white with purple you get a really nice lavender obviously a lighter purple but i'm just gonna not do that for first of all i'm gonna mix the red and the blue first and then i'm gonna bring that in right so let's have a look how that is gonna work so we got our red and our blue and a really good test i think i said this in the other fabric painting stream the second one with the flowers uh, that a test of a good fabric paint is if you get a good purple right because um, uh, cheap paints just don't mix very well so you want to make sure that you get a really nice one all right now I'm gonna start mixing that pink into it and should get a bit of a lavender color which is kind of what I want so I'm gonna keep bringing it in and that saves me having to add, add more white I've got this on my palette so why not use it right why not use it okay 
All right, let's, I think that's enough. So you need to make sure you've got a big puddle, right? Because you've got to do this and this, and these are the wide ones, similar to the yellow. This was the one we chose to do wide, didn't we? So I'm going to just get a bit of extra purple in there and just make sure I've got a really nice big, big puddle. And then we're going to go for it. And then it's inception time. So don't go anywhere because this inception time's coming. All right, let's do this. I'm going to put it on the side a little bit so I find it easier to work. Oh, look at that. I might actually go and use my really thick brush for this because this is a really big chunky area. So let's get this on. Oh yeah. And those kind of four colours together I think look just gorge. Oh, I've got another top tip coming for you. Another top tip coming for you. Don't paint the background, okay? If you paint a background, if you're fabric painting, it looks cheap. It makes the fabric painting look cheap, look too handmade. Because looking handmade is great, right? But it can just look too handmade. It kind of goes over the edge. It doesn't look kind of stylish. And you want to keep it nice. So do not paint the background. If you make a mistake, like I did where I dropped that little bit of yellow, you're just going to have to add it into the design. You can do a few dots around it, something, just work it in somehow, right? Just don't paint the background. Don't paint it. Don't paint the background. Get them edges, get more paint on your brush. Let's get right around the edges. Uh, why do people flex on Gucci bags and Louis Vuitton flex on a bag you made during Leona's art? Yes, exactly. Flex it. <laughs> yeah, be proud of your artwork, totally. I don't know, I'm not into designer labels. I don't, no, don't worry, I know what you meant, don't worry. Um, yeah, labels I just think is personally you're just over uh, paying and you're just advertising the brand because usually the brand is going to be spelt out somewhere on the item of clothing, which means, or the accessory, which means you're just kind of giving them advertisement. You've just paid to be a walk in advertisement. That's what I think. That's my opinion. I'm not saying it's correct. I'm just saying that's my opinion. You know, Leona's back. <laughs> Tamiko, what are you working on right now, Tamiko? What are you doing? I saw something. What was you? Uh, what were you working on? I'm sure I saw one of your artworks the other day. Was it a portrait? Uh, coming to an Etsy near you. <laughs> I do have an Etsy, you know. You know I've got an Etsy. I've got all my mosaics on Etsy. Etsy.com forward slash Leona Matuzak. Or you could just type in mosaic sign and I'll come up in Etsy. You can see some of my work that I've done. I've done like big... Uh, she's cleaning <laughs> she's cleaning away she is cleaning yeah I've done some big old signs big old mosaic signs I don't know why I'm saying old because it's not old big fancy signs like cottage signs villa signs oh that heart looks lovely do you know what I'm saying? You're going to be proud to be walking around with a bag like this with such a nice pattern. Yeah, neon portrait. I thought so. I thought you were. How's it going on? All right. I love that. I love that you're so colourful and you always use like super beautiful colour in your work. Because, I mean, we've got that in common, right? It's kind of 
let's get some the world nice and colourful. Get that applied on nice and thickly. Super, super thick. All right, we're nearly at inception time. Or should I say inception time number two? I'm back, Mrs. Bunny. Hi, <laughs> Celeste. Boo. <laughs> How you doing? What do you think of the design? It's come on, right? We're right near the end. You're just in time for... Yes, we are the colour girls. Yeah. Right on. Make it colourful. Uh, you're ne just in time, Celeste, for um, the stems, which I'm calling Inception Time because they're green and it's going to interact with the green screen. Ooh. Ooh. So, right, nice and thick on the edge there. Nice and steady. Twisting the brush around if you can. Oh, I've just mixed up, I think, like the perfect amount because I'm just right down to it now right down to it cool yeah get ready get ready oh i didn't say what the sellotape was for i don't know if anyone spotted that at the beginning um i said you need a roll of sellotape now if you forget this is a top tip in coming my mum makes the best biscuits ever. Oh my god, has she made you some biscuits? What flavour are they? Uh, are you ready for top tip incoming, guys? Because it's happening. Uh, let me just get. I've got to get this edge really nice. There's no point doing it if you're not going to get a nice edge. All right. If you want to get a smaller brush when you do the edges, by the way, that can be it can be a lot easier to control. Like if you don't have much experience or you're not quite sure, um, I find it really easy just to go for it and just manipulate it with the same brush. But don't be afraid to just experiment. Uh, who do you think is typing, Alex or Celeste? Let's just say it's Alex as a guess, but I really don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Uh, all right, so. Top tip, top tip incoming. Do, 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 do. Top tip incoming, top tip incoming. Oh, lemon shortbread, ooh. Yum. I love lemon things. Yum, okay, top tip incoming. The sellotape, right? I don't know if you, any of you spotted that I said you needed sellotape at the beginning. Now, if you come to a point and you've forgotten to erase the pencil, you may start erasing. So have a look on here. So you may be like, oh, I wanna erase this now, but the paint's wet. What am I gonna do? You're like, oh no. And then what happens is when you start erasing, you see you get all these little bits that come up. You see that? I mean, you know that, right? Every single person in this stream and anyone watching, knows that you get little erased bits right from the eraser what you got to do is get some sellotape because what you don't want to do is then blow if you stop blowing the bits away they're going to get stuck in the paint which is still wet so you want to get some sellotape you want to just roll it around your finger so you've got like double sidedness happening oh hold on you're gonna make sure it's like that, right? So it's like a double-sided little ring of sellotape. And then you just wanna go ahead and kind of dab it off with the sellotape. Amazing tip, I've gotta say, that is a pro tip. Pro tip, mic drop, top tip. Coming at ya. 
I'm expecting applause, guys. No, I'm not expecting applause. <laughs> Same. Yeah, love lemon. Lemon cake. Although I'm not too much of a cake person. Lemon biscuits are better than lemon cake, for sure. Correct, it's Alex. Hi, Alex. Welcome back. Okay, it is time for Inception. We are going to mix up a nice green. So I'm going to wash this brush. Uh, yes. Yes. I'm here. Hello. He's here. Hello. Do you want him to come in? No, no he's not going to come in. Maybe Next another time. time. Another time. Another time he'll come on. And maybe we should do like a little tutorial together. Yes. Time, yes, we in the comments. Definitely, 100%. Oh, 100%. 100%. 100%. Look at the keenness. If you want to check out, there's some reviews on our channel of different paints. And Zach is in those reviews. If you want to check it out, if you want to see him, if you're like just desperate, then go and have a look at the reviews. All right, we need to mix up. We've got some blue. I'm going to put a bit more blue on there because it's kind of mixed with the purple a little bit. And of course, we need some yellow. Yellow and blue makes purple. We all know that. Applause. Thank you, Lachlan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, 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 and yes. <laughs> Just looking for the applause. Right wipe that up okay so we're gonna mix some green we're gonna get all inception the colors of my background are gonna come out onto the bag it's gonna be fun right and even on here when I'm gonna mix it we're gonna start seeing it's already we can see it a little bit but then it should turn <gasps> dun, 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 dun. look at that you can see my artwork underneath this is fun this is what is happening right here share this stream look that is green and you can't see it crazy now I have done it really dark green so that it kind of makes it really fun but I actually want to do it a little bit lighter than that so I'm going to add a tiny bit of yellow uh, let's get a little bit of yellow a little extra bit because I still want my bag to look pretty right mixing it mixing it and then we're going to do some of the stems now obviously like I said you can rub out the eraser you can use that pencil that someone recommended earlier to Miko and Mira recommended, uh, which comes out when you iron, which is fabulous. Um, or you can just rub out the eraser. And usually a razor doesn't last anyway in the wash. It usually rubs out. And then I'm just going to jig my cardboard. If I can, I'm going to have to put the brush down. I'm just going to jig my cardboard around a bit so I get it a bit more central. So as you know I've got cardboard inside and I just want to make sure I'm going to go on there and there alright it's happening this is the moment you've all been waiting for <laughs> or have you <laughs> ok let's do it let's get some green I actually think I need a smaller brush than that let's do this one ok So, it should be, how's that looking? <gasps> yes, look at that. Multicolored. Multicolored. Let's do another one. I mean, yes, let's raise that up a little bit. This is the final bit. I might add just a couple of other things onto here. Your backdrop has teleported. It has. It's teleported onto the artwork. I am happy about that. Why not? Oh yeah. 
Ooh yeah, ooh yeah. Oh, I saw your boyfriend's on another vid. There you go. There he is. So you can see him somewhere. Yeah. Da, 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 da. All right, and then this one you've got to be really careful with. Obviously, I'm loading up the brush with loads of paint. So if you are using fabric paint and you're watching this, loading it up, but using a really fine brush and then kind of dragging the paint because it's so thick, so viscous, you want to drag that paint, right? Dragging it, dragging it, dragging it. It's got to be thick. So it's got to absorb into the bag. Absorb, absorb. And that's pretty much it. I mean, what you could do is, let's have a look at the designs. So, this is the design that I was inspired by, which is a Greek pattern. Can you see they've got these kind of little sort of bits sort of poking out a little bit? And there's some circles. They get, I guess they're kind of like berries, which are really cute here. So you could add those on if you want to. Let's have a look. Have we got space? Let's grab the pencil and see if we've got a little bit of space here. Because maybe they would come in between here. So you could have like ones coming out here like this which I think would look actually really cute and maybe you could just have two maybe just one here I'm trying to do it so they're parallel to the parallel to this one and this one coming out here I think I'm gonna add that on I think it's gonna look super cute I'm gonna do it let's do it I've got some green paint left If you've got a little bit of time left and a little bit of paint left, then you might as well consider doing a tiny little bit extra, right? And if you're really into it, that's what happens, right? When you get really into your art and you're like, oh, I'm gonna add something, but you can always do it in pencil first. Don't go ahead and do it uh, just with the paint. Don't do it with just paint because you might not like it so draw it with pencil check out that you're happy with it and then because the tendency also is is when you get really excited about stuff you want to add and add and add and add and of some a lot of the time it can look worse right and you don't want that you don't want that you want to just keep it simple um why don't we do a painting of some types of fruits like a strawberry banana and a grape we did um lemons and limes and oranges last time do you remember which is pretty cool but we can we can do more fruit stuff i do like doing like fruits and flowers and patterns nature-based artworks so yeah that is all possible. Look. How fun is that? That's so fun. Oh, you know what you could do? You could even do like a couple. Oh, you know what? This is what I'm going to do, guys. I've decided. I'm acting on the super fly. And I'm going to do two more on these. I'm going to do one here and one here. And then I'm going to be done. Because I think that is going to just make it like just really gorgeous so i'm gonna put two up here and then i'm gonna do two up here and this has got to come out a bit further and out here <gasps> yes yes and yes what about a margarita pizza painting that's a great idea what a lovely idea. Yeah, why don't we? Why don't we? So 
So this is looking so colourful now. You'll have to follow me on one of my socials to have a look what it looks like in green. <laughs> You're amazing and your painting is amazing too. So good. Thank you so much, Alex and Celeste. Thank you so much. You know, simple things, often beginners feel like they've got to do like complicated things and like you just got to keep it simple and get satisfied and then you'll want to do more you know and the the point is is to want to do more art and instead of like watching tv or i don't know reading more upsetting things it's like do something creative you know it's always going to make you feel better if you make it simple if you make it simple if you make it complex you can get really frustrated and often you won't do anything where are the color boys <laughs> where are the color boys you're known as the color boy now <laughs> so there we go i mean you could even do it on every single one but i'm not gonna because i just quite like the way it's offset but obviously you might want to do it on all of them and that is absolutely fine whatever you fancy oh you can kind of see the green there a little bit just a little bit you can see the green on there so it looks really good i'm really happy here it is oh let's make sure it doesn't fall here's the final one for today Ta -da! today's beautiful painting really easy let me know send me a facebook instagram tweet if you do it along with me if you come up if you use my streams as inspiration and you come up with something completely different send me a photo of that as well because i'm happy to inspire you in whatever way so in any creative way so just let me know keep me posted i'd love to see i missed the lonely oh no you're not you're here you're here and here was the other one i don't know which one i prefer now which do you think is nicer the one i did before or the one i did today i mean i know what, what i'm going to be taking the next time i go shopping which one do you think is nicer i'm not quite sure i think they both kind of look cute <laughs> anyway you decide you decide which one do you think is the best all right so uh yeah i think that's it guys i think that's it for today thank you so much for joining it was lovely to see you please stay safe and well look after each other please share this stream out to someone who you think would like it you can like you can subscribe to this channel that'd be amazing you can donate if you want to donate to the patreon if you want to become a patron you can for three pounds a month that would be amazing and support the continuation of this stream and allow it to grow uh what else can you do you can just be amazing and come back next week that would be great i'll send you a picture of my citrus fruit yeah and the card thing on the instagram hopefully in the next few days if my mum allows me oh well it'd be lovely to see it'd be lovely to see and hopefully use your mum doing it too i hope so because she's super creative let's do it all so thank you all for joining there's a bunch of people in the room that aren't in the comments feel free to come into the comments next time if you're watching this come on in and have a chat it makes it so much more fun if you join the chat because you can ask me questions, we can talk about stuff, it makes it really fun. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you didn't do it on fabric and you just did it on paper or card, or you did it in a different kind of paint, tell me, let me know, I'd love to know what you did. Uh, I have subscribed and liked the video. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys next week. I'll see you next week. All the best, take care. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs>